Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Justin with Justo Show here with you behind the scenes, and we are diving in Moho's 3D capabilities. It's awesome, y'all. Like it's really awesome. Okay, so now where we left off is we built this room. If you haven't seen that video, check out the last video or my pre. No, I don't know if it'll be the last video based on how you got here. Cause just come to my channel and look for like a 3D playlist. I'll make a playlist and boom, there you go. Everything will be there in order. So start with the first video and then come to this one. If you're here and you haven't seen the la a video before this one. Go away and go to that one. <laughs> but anyway, let's get on to it. Now, one thing I forgot to mention in the last video. So say you are in your room and you got like a small space, but you kind of want to show a lot of stuff. Now, I do like photography, personal, in my personal time I learned. I was doing it as a business, but I ain't like it. So, yeah, I don't really just do it anymore like that. Now, it's just personal family stuff but anyway so when it comes to this if you go to your zoom I'm going to teach you something real quick you guys should look into like camera lenses and stuff and uh, filming uh, what is it uh, staging and stuff like that or composite it's, it's really helpful so this right here is the lens the how wide we or what how wide we can view something so the higher this number is the tighter the shot so like I have like a, a 200 millimeter lens this is what pretty much I would see uh you know zoomed in 200 millimeters and then I also have a 15 or is it 15 well a 10, no 18 to or 15 no I think it's 15 to 18 so we'll go with 15 so this 15 millimeter lens shows a wide shot this is a very wide shot now I think the widest you can go in real life is 10 you know that's what Casey Neistat used so if you guys watch Casey Neistat you can see like pretty much his whole room so this is this is that that number right here. But like I said, the higher you go, the tighter the shot. The lower you go, the wider the shot. Now you will get some this you this actually does happen like some distortion or is it like warping or something like that? I can't remember the correct term. But anyway, enough on that. I just wanted to show you guys that. So I'm going to take it. Most people use like a 30 35 or a 50 when filming. Well, when I was doing like real live live action film, that's pretty much what I use. So I'm just gonna take it to a 50 mil. No, we'll go back to 35. So 35 is okay. And then I'm gonna move this camera back out. And then we're just gonna pan it out. Actually, let me just reset it. All right. Anyway, let me uh pull this back in. So now. What we're going to do today, we're going to make this even more 3D, like add thickness and stuff. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do it to the door. Because that's what really matters. But since I have a hole right here, I'm going to right click. Not, wait, is it right click? Uh, I'm going to left click. Let me call this door. That's why I got confused. So I'm going to left click on the door double click open up the layer settings and we're gonna go to 3d options and then I'm gonna click extrude and I'm gonna uncheck all these because I don't have any edges but you know if you have edges feel free to uh, not edges strokes feel free to you know mess around I mean push every button you can't break it and if you do you should probably let Moho or anime studio know so there we go now once I press that button now we have a thick wall is very thick now you're probably saying well how do I uh make it you know thinner uh, that's a great question and I'm going to show you how to do that so if you come to your styles you have to have this advanced check otherwise it won't you you just won't find it this is the only way I know how to do it 
And then you come to your fill selection or select shape and you click on that shape. And by the way, if you don't know how to maneuver around in a the workspace, these are the workspace uh, tools so you can like rotate. So if you ever like, I don't know, uh, if you, I don't know if you, if you ever seen me draw and I rotate stuff, that's how you do that. And then you just click this and it'll take you back to the camera. But this is how you orbit around the space. And then you can uh, move with your hand, like pan and stuff. So, yep. Uh, Alright, so yeah, back to here. So now, I select this shape. And then this thickness right here, this is what we want. So I'm going to take it down. Now you can see that it's being manipulated. I probably should have put some more stuff on it. That way you could see. You know, I don't know what happened to my glass. I guess the glass don't work. Oh, oh well. I mean, you can always add one in there. So yeah, I'm just going to bring this down to about 0. 0.5 is good for me. It's not too thick. But you can do whatever size you want. Actually, I'm going to go to point zero one one. Yeah. Alright, so now let's go back to our camera. Now, I didn't do the other walls because, I mean, it's not like you're seeing through them. Those will be on the outside. So, it's kind of like when you go to Six Flags and uh, you just only see the front. No, only the front looks good. So, you look in the back and it's just like, oh, okay, it's just a warehouse or something. So, yeah. So, here we go. Uh, here's our, our, uh, our thick wall. And then, you can maneuver through it, like in the last video. Now, if you wanted to add windows, you could probably just do this right here. Let me show you. I am going to create another layer right here. Going to, let me turn this door off. And then I want to delete this and this and that and that. And I want to delete this and this and this. Now I'm experimenting, so y'all seeing it here while I'm doing this. Uh, let's just do like a very, I want it to be noticeable. So I'm going to create that shape. Oh, you know what? I deleted. I deleted that. Okay, I didn't want to do that. Okay. Let me do redo it. Because I deleted the, the shape from this one. I could have just put it back. But, yeah. So again, I'm on this layer. This one is, this, or is, is hidden. So I'm just going to delete. Sorry, y'all. That's my wife. She's in there watching uh, uh, Living Single. Old school. Old school. That's funny. I'm almost old. I'm almost 30, man. I got two more, two, two and a half more years till I'm 30. All right. So there we go. We got that. And let's see if it's 3D. It is. Now... I'm actually going to make this thickness a little smaller because it will come through. So there we go. We have a 3D wall. Let me, I thought I, I put it up there a lot, okay. Let's see how this. Oh, I don't want to save it. Mm. Trying to see if we can actually see through. Oh, look, there's the camera. You can see the camera moving back and forth. I'm holding Alt up and down, and then just panning it so I can actually move it here. And then, yep. Uh, oh, I move it too much. Okay, we're gonna go 
here. We're gonna go there. And you know, I started out doing 3D when I first started animating, but I never got to make a movie because the rendering time takes so long. But Blender came out with some a new rendering engine and that works wonders. So this is kind of why I've been doing 3D stuff now, experimenting. If you've been following me on Instagram. So yeah, we can't see through it, poo. But let me try one more thing. What if I take it all the way? Oh, there you go. Oh, that's too much. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna let us see through it. So that's that's a sucky thing. But it's still cool that you can do this. So. That's going to be the end of this video. Come back to for the next video and I'll show you some more advanced 3D stuff. So, uh, see you or I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out.